What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Lightning's Perspective. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm back with another video form. I know it's been a long time, and I feel like even though I just uploaded yesterday, I didn't upload because I didn't do like a video where you guys could see me and I could talk to you guys and like this, like we're looking at each other. But I'm back, okay? I'm back and I'm better. So today, I'm going to be doing 14 things I learned by 14. And this is Fernanda Ramirez Inspired. So thank you to her. Y'all make sure you go subscribe to her. She's an amazing podcaster, if that's what we're calling it. But she does amazing podcasts. I love listening to her. She is so inspirational. By the way, if you keep seeing me look, at I'm right by a window, okay? So I can literally like see everything. But let me know if you guys like the little change in scenery. I mean, I'm trying to figure out what I like do i like do you guys really like the old setup do you guys like this setup better tell me what y'all like the most and i will deliver but anyways um coming in with number one i have not everyone who says they're they're your friend is your friend which basically just means to be careful what people say and to just don't be so quick to be like hey that's my friend that's my friend that's my friend that's my friend you know be careful with who you're trusting and who's in your circle and who you listen to because not everybody is worth like that just i listen to whatever you say i know that you're i know i can trust you not everybody deserves that title in your life and that presence and that importance in your life so just be careful who you trust and be careful who you just hang around with and who you decide to be around every day because the people that you're around they really um like they you you become the people you're around okay so all right um coming in with number two don't expect anything from anyone when you're becoming when you're having new friends you are going to a new school um i don't know anything new just make sure that you don't ex don't expect the best but also don't you don't want to hope like hope for the best but expect the worst i don't know if you guys have ever heard that but my mom tells me that all the time she always tells me hope for the best but expect the worst also i hope you all like my cute little mic <laughs> stolen from my mom but anyway she always tells me to hope for the best and expect the worst so with that being said you know you can always have your hopes and be like okay i hope that i get this job but i mean if i don't i'm expecting it and i'm ready for it and maybe i won't get that job but maybe they're gonna let me be junior assistant instead or assistant or whatever it is um so you know expect bad things to happen because bad things are always going to happen and if you don't expect for them to happen then you're just out here for a rude awakening but if you're hoping for the best and you're just ex- you're hoping for the, i mean you, you guys know what i meant but you know you're expecting you're ready for it nothing can ever tear you down because you know what's gonna you know like you're ready you're ready for anything number three don't be so gullible and that's another thing with don't believe anything that anyone says because the moment that you give somebody the power to just tell you anything and you're like oh my god for real like the moment that you do that you become a weak person because a weak is a weakly minded person because you don't want to be that one person who is like oh my god you okay who i don't know who's lying to me because you're just believing everything everybody says you don't want them to know that okay even let's say you are a very gullible person don't let nobody see that hide it within yourself don't let past baggage keep dragging okay i'm gonna use one of my experiences for this okay so i want to say like a long long time ago let's just say i had a fake friend okay and i'm realizing that with one of my friends one of my well it was a long story because we we weren't we were friends and then we stopped being best friends and now we're just friends we're not really you know so like i literally stopped talking to my friend me and him we're not talking for like a long time but anyways that's not the point the point is um i was like projecting a lot of those past dramas and i was like dragging him into like the like unintentionally i was trying to get my payback i was trying to get my get back and i was trying to just make him feel what i felt with my um other friend but it's because i never truly healed from that friendship and i never truly established that you know it happened but it's time to get over it this is a new friendship you know whenever you're entering a new friendship make sure that you just have a self-evaluation and be like okay i know what i've been through but i'm not gonna allow this to just project onto this new friendship i'm not gonna bring it on over here because the same way that they're always like the grass isn't greener the grass isn't always greener on the other side if you bring the other side to the new side of course it's not going to be greener so 
you know, you don't you don't want to put the same chemicals you put in your old grass and your new grass because your new grass is going to look just like the old one. And if that's the case, just go back to your old grass, you know. Don't waste this new spot fresh grass and let somebody else use it. So, I don't know. That's just the metaphor I decided to use. But, yeah, that's just something that a lot of teens do this day, these days, and I think that that should stop. Um, next is it's okay to have feelings towards something but not too much too early. Make sure that you, like I said, be careful who you trust. You can love somebody. You can say that, you know, oh my God, like I really do love my friends and stuff. But just be careful too early, too much too early. And I'm the type of person that I'm like, if I know, because you know yourself, if you feel too much too early, it's time to go, baby. If you, because you should know yourself enough to be like, okay, well, if I feel this kind of way and it's only been two weeks, I think it's time to, maybe not time to dip, but maybe it's time to breathe, take a moment to yourself, maybe take a mental break from the friendship. And, you know, it doesn't even have to be like a spoken thing. Like, you don't have to be like, okay, I need a break from this friendship. It doesn't have to be like that. You can simply just back up, take a step back. You know that one TikTok that's like taking a step back there after he told me we're not that serious? I don't know. Just something random. But y'all know that TikTok. Um, so, you know, just learn how and when and when not and what and what not kind of mental breaks and how to take them because some mental breaks you actually have to physically tell the person hey i'm taking a break from you and sometimes you just have to take a step back and that doesn't mean that you don't love them that doesn't mean that you don't want to be their friend anymore that just means that you need time to figure out where you stand in this friendship and where you want and where you want to be in this friendship um coming in with the next one is never let people see enough to where they can have a valid opinion against you i'm sorry but i'm really very i'm very very passionate about this topic right here because there are so many people at my school they feel like they can they can talk a lot about a lot of people okay and i'm not gonna lie they can because those people allow them to have these kind of opinions towards them i'm not gonna say too much but there's this one girl and let's just say she gets into a lot of stuff that she should not be getting into. Okay? And because she's always putting her business out there, she's posting things on Snap and Instagram and TikTok and all these things for everybody to see, everybody is able to form a valid opinion against her. And whether it's an actual valid opinion or not, I'm not, when I say valid, I don't mean correct. When I say valid, I mean they are able to form an opinion because you're giving them information to be able to form an opinion. That's what I mean when I say a valid opinion. I know it's kind of, oh my God, that's not what valid means. I don't care. That's i'm using it when i say a valid opinion i mean that you're giving them enough information to make an opinion because if they can just make an opinion just because they think that that's what's going on you know they it could be right it could be wrong then it's like i that's the kind of space that i want to be in and that's the kind of space i am in my school like nobody really knows too much about me if somebody has something to say about me they can say it if they have something that they think i'm doing they think i'm doing it i'm not gonna go out and be like posting on my uh, business out on tiktok and instagram and whatever else other platform that there is i'm not going to be out there posting my information i'm not going to be letting people into the juicy stuff because you have to remember what a lot of people a majority i want to say like 95 percent 95 percent of your friends your friends not people in the school 95 percent of your friends you have to be comfortable with just standing on the the stage in the cafeteria and telling the whole school because yes they know you may not find out that a lot of people know but a lot of people know and then the one day the wrong person tells you so it's very important to make sure that you would never tell somebody something that's what i mean when they say don't let somebody have a, a valid opinion against you make sure that whenever you're telling your friends whatever you're telling your friends you're able to say it on the front of the cafeteria because even like there's a like I said, five percent of your friends you can actually trust and those five percent of friends that you can trust you don't know who they are you know, you have to take that risk and tell them what you think you can tell them. And based on if you find out that the school knows, that's what it is. And it's sad, but it's true. We're in middle school. Maybe you're in high school. Maybe you're in elementary. But I feel like the same rule applies throughout maybe elementary. I feel like kids are a little less rude and a little less to tell your business as in middle school. Because in elementary, I feel like everything is like, oh, my God, you know, She's telling me her secret, but I feel like in elementary, it doesn't register as important. Like, when somebody's telling you a secret in elementary, you don't think, oh, my God, if I tell somebody this, I'm going to get so much clout. I'm going to get so much friends. People are going to start asking me questions about it, and I'm going to become popular. I don't think, I mean, it, I could be wrong, because I know that as we get older, the age, like, 14 then was, like, an 8-year-old now, you know? It's 14 years old um, back in the day. So, um... I forgot where I was going with this, but basically, 
I oh yeah I remember okay so so I don't, I don't I just don't think that in elementary it registers like oh my god I can get popular off of that but maybe I'm wrong okay but as I know for middle school and what everybody tells me about high school all the high schoolers it's probably going to register throughout high school it might even be 97 percent of your friends you can't trust when you get to high school but middle school is like you have to literally have to be careful because the moment you tell somebody something it's going through their heads rather it's consciously or not they're going to be thinking hmm if I tell the po- the popular kids this, will I get in their group? Will I be popular? Some kids, I want to say like 90% of students in middle school do this non-consciously. They want to tell everybody something hoping to get either a reaction out of people or gain popularity through it. And that's one of the most toxic things about middle school, but then it's also the most non not non-toxic it's also the best the best learning experience through it because once you get to high school you're gonna be like oh my god that is not cool at all like it's not really that cool and only like not a lot of kids from middle school realize that that's not it like that's just not cool you know like it yeah so what i can gain popularity through it i'm losing my humanity doing that you know and that's just how i feel i know a lot of people you know it's like a hot take or whatever it is but that's why I don't have many friends because a lot of people don't really agree with my opinions and they don't know how to take that, you know? Like I have my friends, I, I have really two really good friends, Ann and Aaron, and they are the type of friends where those are my only friends. I'm just using them as an example because I, I was, I'm planning on doing podcast episodes with them. But um, they are the type of people where you can disagree and like I agree to go left all the way left and Anna agrees to go all the way right but we can respect each other's opinions and we can move our own ways our separate ways and still meet in the middle and talk to each other we don't have to talk you don't have to talk about what's on the left side and I don't have to talk about what's on the right side or vice versa but the thing is we respect that we're going opposite ways we respect that we think or want different things and we're able to still be friends and actually come um not combine actually build a friendship you know and relate see what it relates see what it doesn't and some people you know you just don't want to like it all depends on your friendship and all those things but you know the video is not about that but i mean it is things that i'm learning and i am learning that it's okay to disagree too you know it's you're not always going to agree with your friend and that doesn't mean that you guys aren't good friends it doesn't mean that you aren't um compatible and because i know a lot of people say that opposites attract but sometimes it's the opposite sometimes the same people there's two of the same people will be very good friends well almost two because no two people are the same but they literally like you feel like they're like copy and paste and they will get along so well and so um, it just goes to show like i don't know but I, i've just learned to also not believe everything you hear because you know there's a lot of there's a lot of contra- controversies, there's a lot of controversies, whatever, but there's a lot, you know, just to learn in life, and I know I'm only 14 years old, and I'm very happy that I know as much as I know at 14 years old, because I feel like that it's been helping me to grow into a better person, and yeah, okay, moving in to the next one is, um, don't try to protect yourself from getting hurt again, oh my god. I'm so happy we're getting into this. Okay, so I have this friend, right? I have this friend, and I was I was checking up on him, and he was like, and I was like, "How are you doing?" And he was like, "You know, I'm hanging in there, just trying to protect myself from nothing happening." I'm like, "Wow!" First off, you are a 14 year old boy. You're not done experiencing life. You're not even halfway. You're not a quarter way. Even as a 50, 60 year old woman, you're not done experiencing life. Okay. So and for you to say, I'm trying to protect myself from nothing bad happening again, or I'm trying to uh, protect myself from not getting played, not getting hurt. That's not going to work, especially at 14. Like our lives has just begun. And I'm not saying like that. Be- I'm not trying to sound like an old head, but like literally like we're about to if you're 14 some people are already in high school but 14 15 years old 13 maybe depending on where you live you're going into high school your life is literally just beginning and that's crazy that i know that at 14 but i'm super excited for high school and scared at the same time but i'm happy because it's like i'm growing into another person i'm gonna be able to a a new person not another i'm gonna be able to widen myself i'm gonna be able to learn more about everything so i'm happy that i'm going into high school but then i'm also a little scared because it's like sad because i'm letting go of like all my childhood so it's like a bittersweet moment but i say this to say that it's good that i know what i know at such a young age because by 
by the time I get to high school, by the time I get to college, by the time I, I'm an adult, I'm going to be like, wow, I knew so much at 14, but now I know way more than I did at 14. So I'm happy I knew how much I did at 14 because it allows me to know how much I know now. But I am happy, you know, that I'm still learning and stuff like that. So I kind of got off track there. But I say that to also say that no matter how hard you try, first off, no matter how hard you try, you cannot protect yourself from anything happening. And number two, that is such a terrible way to live. I was talking to my aunt about that and a couple days ago. And I was like, you know, when I get to high school, like, I just want to be out the way. I don't have too much friends, you know. And that's what everybody wants to do. And so you want to be not just because you want to stick out and be popular but for yourself it's a good experience to go to high school with the intention of i want to know everybody not i want to be popular i want to know everybody i want to make friends i want to make connections i want to learn and get to meet new people that's what high school is about because most people not most people a lot of people that i know um like everybody in my school right now it's a k through eight school so they've been in that school all their life i haven't but those people have been in there in that school all their life so high school is going to be a new experience to meet new people all the, the freshmen the ninth graders i'm going to a high school where it's just a high school so it's not a 6 through 12 k through 12 it's just 9 to, through 12th grade whatever it is that's how it is in florida but you know i know the rules are different everywhere grades and all that but that's not what this video is about um so i say that to say that high school is an exp is an experience to have and you're going to cut yourself off being like i just want to stay out the way so he's an eighth grader he's just he's in eighth grade just like me and i really feel bad for him and i try to talk to him i'm like that's not a way to live and he's like who are you to tell me and i'm like you know what you're right you are completely right that's something that you can't tell people that that's not a way to live unless they want to change that habit Unless they don't want to live like that, you can't snap somebody out of that. So if you're watching this podcast, I know you're here for help. And I'm telling you, that is not a way to live. That is not fun. Think about it. You're going to be out of the way. When senior senior year comes, you're going to be sitting in the corner. You're not going to go to prom because nobody, like, you can't even go with your friends because you don't have friends because you want it to be out the way. You want to protect yourself from getting hurt. Well, if you protect yourself from getting hurt, you're going to be one of those people who die alone. And when I say die alone, I don't mean married not married because that's not you can have friends and not married but you're not dying alone you have friends you have people that you know so staying out the way not the that's when but i guess there's a difference between staying out the way and protecting yourself from getting hurt because you could stay out the way but still have friends you know i'm out the way but i, I'm, I have friends you know i'm here i'm here i'm here but once the wave come i'm out the way okay but there's a difference from you're literally trying to protect yourself from not getting hurt oh, like you're like okay let's say maybe you try, but let's say you get into a new friendship, and the moment you feel like you're getting too close, you tense up, and that's not a good idea at all. And but we're gonna, I'm gonna get into a video on what's the proper way to make friends and the proper way to go about those kind of things. I want to make an in-depth video about that so you guys can start, you know, learn. Wow, I'm I'm doing good. Y'all might get like a 45, 50 minute podcast, but I want to talk a little faster because I I am not even halfway through. Um, but the next one is the things around you and the people around you really dictate how you feel. So when you go out to high school wanting to make new friends, make sure that you pick people that you know you want to be. See people that you can kind of see who you want to be or who you are. And so find the aspects that you love about yourself and other people and find new aspects that you just love in general in other people. Because the people around you are the people who you're going to become whether you like it or not whether you feel like it or not you're going to become the people you hang around and as brutal as that sound as old as that sounds it's very true i know this girl um from last year when she was in eighth grade i didn't know her but i knew of her and she was a very clean girl okay she never got into trouble and all of a sudden she got into this friend group where the people vape the people you know i know in middle school right crazy but the people vape the people were talking bad about everyone they were the popular kids moving on with the next one being humble looks better oh my gosh i'm so happy like i put some really good things on here okay but okay i was at one of my games because i play for two travel teams now i was at my second travel teams game and i was like looking at the boys like on, on the bench and i was looking at the boys i'm like oh my god what are you doing like they were just so extra because i'm the only girl so everybody's constantly trying to impress me and i'm not gonna lie it feels a little suffocating sometimes but you have to learn how to maneuver around that but i say that to say oh my god i'm i'm picking up off of fernanda ramirez and people around me but you see because i want i like being around for i like being around i like listening to fernanda ramirez so i listen to her a lot and now i'm picking up on her lingo 
you see that's kind of digging into the one i just said but um i noticed that the boy he was like throwing himself all over the place he was trying to dribble all pretty he was like trying to shoot his free throws and just look all cool and no i'm sorry but he looked so cocky so unhumble so like that behavior is just so to me like i hated it it looked so disgusting but i've i've talked to somebody previously in the past and he was so humble he didn't like if i was around he would just act like how he normally act. like you know the people who they'll be chilling and then you come in the room and they're like you know like ill you know but he would come in the room he'd be like he'll be like on his phone i come in the room oh what's up you know like it's just humble he does humble always looks better no matter how much you feel like doing all that just feels so good and you feel like you're you're being seen you are being seen but in the wrong way but when you're humble you look you stand out to everybody but people also notice the people you're going to be noticed as a person who did the most do you want that or do you want to be noticed as the person who was just so chill they were so humble everybody wanted to talk to them after the game because they wanted how like your energy is so amazing like i want to be around you i want to be your friend you know and so humble really does look better and even to this day the person that i i was talking to and you know i didn't work out but we are great friends now because of how humble he is he wasn't he doesn't hold any grudges and all those kind of things even though we didn't work out that way you know we are still able to be friends because i like the person he is i like being around him his vibes his energy all that good, all that good stuff he's a really good person to be around so i'm still friends with him because of that you know, so being humble always looks better because look at that. We're still friends. Um, how many of you guys are friends with people that you really liked and it didn't work out? Probably probably none of you. Honestly, probably none of you. But, okay. Next is manifestation really works. If you believe it, it is the power of the tongue. That's also after that somewhere over here. But it's really true because, man, I was going to use this as an example. Okay, I'll use it as an example. Just real quick. So I was somewhere, you know, you you... I was I was at home, okay? I was away from home, and I really do miss home when I'm not home. Like, I, home is where the heart is, really. So my mom was out of, out of town, and I was with one of my relatives. And I was like, Mom, like, I want to go home, but she couldn't get any flights here. All the flights, like, I don't know if there was, like, a storm coming or whatever it was, or maybe the tickets were booked. I don't remember what it was. But she could not come home until next week. I'm like, but no, I want to come home. I think it was Monday. I said, I want to come home on Wednesday. It was like Sunday, Sunday or Monday. I was like, no, I want to come home on Wednesday. That was our original plan. I was going to come home on Wednesday. And I'm like, I want to come home on Wednesday. She's like, well, how are you going to get home? Who's going to drop you home? I don't, you don't have the key for the house, nothing. So I'm like, you know what? Manifestation just hit me out of nowhere. Like I didn't even realize I was manifesting, but I was, I was like, if you're religious, like manifest to me, manifesting and praying to God is like, it, it all ties together. A lot of people say that they're the opposite, but it, it, honestly it is on what you believe but i believe that they go hand in hand and they're the same thing not the same thing but they go hand in hand they help each other so you pray you manifest it's like you can do that's like you know that's just the best thing ever i feel so i was praying to god i'm like lord please like i want to go home on wednesday i don't want to be here and it's not even because i didn't love my relative or i didn't like the space i was in i missed home so i was like lord like i'm really grateful that I'm, i have water to drink water to bathe uh bed to lay in and all those uh roof over my head clothes on my back food to eat but i really want to be home like i you know i miss home and then i was manifesting i'm going home on wednesday i'm going home on wednesday i'm going home on wednesday any time i can remember any like i felt homesick I didn't, I took the homesick and turned it into, I'm going home. There's no need to be homesick. I'm going home on Wednesday. I'm going home on Wednesday. Tuesday night, my mom ne still didn't have a flight. But you know what I said? I'm going home on Wednesday. I'm going home on Wednesday. I'm going home. Lord, please, I want to go home. I want to go home on Wednesday. It wasn't until, she didn't have, my mom didn't have a flight up until Wednesday morning. Wednesday, like 11, 12, almost afternoon, 1 o'clock, she texts me. They're able to put me on a flight. I'm boarding the plane. Up until, uh, up until 12:59. She got her. I think she got her flight ticket around one. Up until 12:59, I was manifesting and I was praying to God, please, please, I want to go home. I want to go home. And I was. Long story short, I got home Wednesday night. So I say that to say. Here we go again. I say that to say that manifesting really works. It worked for me. It may not work for everybody because if you don't believe it, you tr it won't happen. Because to me, I didn't want to hear anything. I didn't care. I wanted to go home. I didn't care who I had to. It sounds bad, but I didn't care who I wanted to hurt. I mean, I didn't care who I hurt in the in the process. I didn't care what courses I had to knock down, what trees I had to cut down. I wanted to go home, and I made it happen. 
Um, okay. N- next one. Reading isn't that bad. Just find a book that relates to you. Lately, I have it behind me somewhere over there. Um, I have been reading Atomic Habits by James Clear, and it's just changed my mind. Like when I say to change my mind, change my mind about everything. And it's just opened my eyes in a way that I never thought I could see. He brought me to a light that I didn't know was there. Okay. (laughs) I say that because he really is just a great author. And if you haven't read Atomic Habits, I strongly suggest you to read it. I know everybody says that. Some people honestly like it's kind of mixed, mixed, mixed. But honestly, whether you like the book or not, read it. (laughs) Because you don't have to like it to learn from it. But I like it and I'm learning from it. So it's a double... A double bonus a double benefit i guess yeah um okay we're gonna just skip past that one because that was kind of boring um the next one is waking up early makes a difference but so does sleeping early because a lot of people get them you know they're like okay i wake up early all the time okay that's nice that's great but what time do you go to sleep 12 o'clock but you're waking up at 5 a.m you're waking up at 4 a.m you know what that's doing to your body your body as a human i don't care who who and what says you need eight hours to function properly doesn't matter if you're infant doesn't matter if you are an adult you need at least eight hours to function proper properly can you go a day with six hours of sleep five hours of sleep Yes. Will you function properly? No. Will you perform your best? No. So you need that full eight hours at a minimum. Okay. Uh, Like if you can take that 12, the 10 hours, 12 hours of sleep, of course we can't sleep that long because if people slept that long, we would get nothing done. Okay. But minimum eight hours of sleep. I don't know why people make it seem like you can, yes, you can live off sleeping four hours every day, but over time, your performance, you will age faster. Your skin will not be as looking as good as it is. Your health will not be, your immune system will not be as strong as it can be. So eight hours at a, min, at a minimum, maybe seven hours, 30, but like around eight hours minimum. Okay. Um, next is never miss two in a row I actually got that from atomic habits is a uh, never miss in two in a row rule which is like okay i'm gonna use my podcast for an example because i missed two weeks in a row they said missing um james clear said missing one week or missing one whatever is a mistake as soon as you miss two you need to hurry up and snap back in it he actually says that after one but if you notice by one great but at least by two that is it because after two two weeks two days two whatever after you realize, you know, after a certain time you're not doing it, it's going to become a bad habit. So after you notice you're not, let me use actually working out as an example because it's a better example. But let's say I work, work out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Let's say I miss Monday, I, went, I miss Wednesday, and by Friday I'm like, gosh, I miss two days? I need to get back in the groove. If you don't get back in the groove, that is the start of a new habit, which is not working out. You're breaking the habit of working out every week, um, three times a week, and you're um starting a new one which is never working out so make sure you never miss two in a row coming in the next one is no one thing and nobody is more important than yourself self-love is important building a relationship with yourself is important and talk to yourself be your own friend be a be somebody that you would want to be friends with it's not weird you know a lot of people they're like oh my god you talk to yourself you're talking to yourself out loud why do you have to talk to yourself out loud it, so who like I really I I really don't like when people judge other people because you never know what somebody's going through and maybe it's not what somebody going through maybe you just don't know what somebody likes what's going on in their head you just you never know like for me like I like talking to myself I talk to myself out loud I talk to myself in my head same thing with the Lord I talk to him in my head I talk to him out loud I talk to him in my sleep I talk to him when my you know, whenever talking to yourself is not a bad thing people make it seem like you're being delusional you have a fake friend like a imaginary friend kind of thing it's not and even if you do there's nothing wrong with that because having an imaginary friend actually proves to um um what's it called like higher rates of like happiness and it releases stress and all those things because you feel like you have somebody to talk to and you know for sure it's not going to get out because they're imaginary so yeah and some people, they actually, they use an imaginary friend because they feel like it's weird to just talk to themselves. So some people will actually, like, make a pillow for it and build it into a person or maybe draw a face of somebody or whatever the case is, and they'll just talk to them. So do different things that will help you talk to yourself. If you're talking to an inanimate, an- 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 whatever, you know, objects, things that can't talk back to you, you're still talking to yourself because nobody's going to hear you except you and the Lord. So, you know, um um the last one okay this is the very last one so open your ears get close to the screen drink your last sip of water because we're gonna end this podcast after this one okay 
um the last one is don't be so quick to label things friendships and relationships just wait and say okay let's see i mean let's say i get to high school right i walk in on my first day and let's let's use a dude because i'm always using friends let's use a dude i'm walking in on my first day a dude hollers at me i'm like hey he said can i get your number i'm like you know what he's cute here's my number and now all of a sudden in my head i'm talking to somebody but all you did is gave him your number let's say you go home he don't even text you you you've labeled it so quick now you're tearing yourself down because you're like man i thought me and this dude were talking about how you just asked for my number now you think about it his his homies and his friends were all giggling behind him they it was a joke they just wanted to see how fast he could get your number you know so just don't be so quick to label things because you never know what can happen you never know you don't want to disappoint yourself and you don't want to um under estimate you don't want to overestimate nor underestimate okay but that is going to be it for this podcast i hope you guys really enjoyed it i really enjoyed it i got really passionate and i'm sorry you guys i'm really learning how to talk to a phone because i'm not used to looking in the phone and talking so i do i like fumble my words a lot and it's not because i have a stuttering problem maybe i do who knows but nothing's wrong with it um maybe i do have a stuttering problem a stuttering problem or whatever the case is but actually because I have so much going on in my head and I have so much to say at once that I start fumbling and stuttering. But I guess that is a sign. But whatever, you know, there's nothing wrong with stuttering. So if you want to label it that label with what you want to. But I'm just out here trying to, you know, clarify and let you guys know what's going on. But that is it for this podcast. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. You know, send this video to a friend and let them know Lightning K is the way. All right. And I will see you guys in the next podcast. Bye.